done a video whereas I'm explaining on how I achieve this puffy look and I hope it will be helpful to uh, most of you it helps me <laughs> and it will help you to understand it's not a fake uh, how do you call it a fake bun you know that those fake bun that are being sold and then uh, people do put them so it at least it will give you a whole picture on what is it that I put on my hair it's not fake it's my hair and I love this look it's like my signature thing. if you know me you know I usually wear my hair like this I love my hair it's like I love me like this so I hope you go and check that video on YouTube if you have not subscribed yet please do subscribe and if you like it don't hesitate to share to your friends your family and everyone who is looking forward to having natural hair because I'll be here back with a new video whereas I am explaining on how to take care of your hair daily my hair are washed and I'm going to use a satin scarf to wrap around my hair to absorb the unnecessary water instead of using the towel that usually in a cut and you and appear in absorb too much water so it will take all the water that you need for styling this material is very nice it's very gentle to the hair and it's very nice actually try using it try using it. it's very nice Let me get ready and I'll back for you. Styling! So here I am again and I'm going to start styling the hair. Remove the scarf. As you can see my hair are humid enough so the water that I have in the hair is enough to start styling. And the first thing I'll be using is a uh, I'm using a cream of nature pure honey line for all the products I'll be using today and this is a detangler it's a to me I call it like a pre leave-in conditioner because it's a it's a not a way leave-in and it's very good because it helped to uh, it helped to detangle your hair as you need to apply a generous amount of it and it completely detangles your hair like if you could see my hair I'm having no knots anymore after just using this product and it's for dry and hydrated hair so if you need your hair to be hydrated this is the good one and it's uh, rich in coconut oil and cream shea butter all these products are sulfate free which is like a yeah I love them and the second thing that I'll be using is a leave-in conditioner and this leave-in conditioner is called a breakup breakage leave-in conditioner it's also from the same line this cream of nature pure honey and it's also rich in coconut oil creamy shea butter and I was supposed to spray the leave-in conditioner on my hair because it has that option of spraying but I don't do it because my face is already having a moisturizer and I don't want to put hair product on my face so I try to spray on my hands and keep on uh, as you see when I'm massaging the product on my hair najaribu kuzivuta nywele kwa nje so as to make sure uh, they don't shrink and they don't freeze again so and that's it So if you are going to blow dry your hair, you can still use this leave-in conditioner uh, and then after that you can comb through or you can style as you want. So this is a leave-in conditioner, you don't rinse it out, so it's a leave-in, so you need to keep it in your hair. And the other thing that I'll be using is the oil and I'm using this oil called jojoba oil. <laughs> It was so strange for me when I saw this bottle the first time and I was like, hey, can I have that jojoba oil? And everybody was laughing at me because I'm a Swahili speaker, so most likely I'll read things first from Swahili. I think in Swahili, so to speak sometimes, I speak in Swahili, even if I'm supposed to speak it the way it's supposed to. So it's called jojoba oil. And uh, how I apply it, as you can see, I apply a generous amount to the roots of the hair and then I sprinkle some on the top of the hair and then massage it to make sure it goes on the lower part of the hair and keep on doing it so as to make sure kwamba inatawanyika vizuri kwenye nywele kichwa kizima and i keep on pulling my hair to the center this is where my bun will be 
and the other product that I'll be using is a color activator this color activator is a shrinkage difference as you know our natural hair kind of shrinks very fast so when you use this one it kind of keep your hair more uh, unshrink, unshrunk <laughs> unshrink. so in oxidia kufanya nyole yako isi how do you call it in swahili my god is shrink until i remember the word so this is also for dry and dehydrated hair and it also having it's it's not having sulfates that makes it a very good product for your hair and it's a good one so i'm going to be using two rubbers and uh, water plus a comb that brush is the one i'm using to brush my hair and And then I'll be spraying water on the roots of my hair so as I'll be able to apply the gel and I'll be using the Eco Styler gel argan oil it's very good also so it kind of keep your hair silky and held in place it's a very good gel actually I've used the other one the one made of uh, olive oil the green one and I would say it was still good but I tried to switch this time around and use this one and I love it. I might stick to this one. Uh, so you apply ile sehemu ya mwanzoni tu ya chini ya nywele usipake mpaka mwisho wa nywele. Kwa unapaka mwanzoni kwenye roots. So yeah, that's what I'm showing trying don't put it too much. Even brushing you don't brush to the end. You brush just the hiyo sehemu ya mwanzo tu. Kwa hiyo inakusaidia. Hiyo sehemu unaoishia kubrush ndo hapo zile raba zitashikilia. Ukibrush mpaka juu you won't get this puff. So the last part is pulling the rubbers to the beginning of your hair on the front and then you pull slowly to the place where you want it to stay and then unaanza kuchambua kwa mikono nywele zako so as you can achieve this natural puffy look. Yes. So keep doing it until when you get the result that you want. So some use wanatumia nini? Unatumia kitana kuchana kunyanyua nywele juu zaidi. You can use your hands it's very good and they are very gentle than using kitana kwa sababu wewe ukajua imevuta nywele ngapi lakini mkono wako unajua umeshika sehemu and then you can feel kwamba kuna knots au kuna tangles so you can you can stop pulling too much. Kwa hiyo this how I do and these are the results. You can see my hair and wow. I kind of love it. My signature look. This is how I do my hair every day. <laughs> For those who have been asking me, so here we are and hope you can try. Once you try this hairstyle by yourself, kindly share and you can send your videos to me on Instagram and I'll be happy to see how you've done yourself. So, I really love this silk uh, the the satin uh, piece of clothes that I used to tie my hair to dry the water and also to reserve the the products when I'm I'm going to sleep. And let's do a little lipstick. <laughs> Is it a lipstick? It's a lip balm or lip shine. <laughs> Whatever. And then yeah. Thank you so much guys for watching my video and as she keep on doing her thing, uh, it's a very natural look. Very natural look. No makeup, it's just the hair and I am good to go and you can see She's happy. <laughs> ah, let's call it Mariam style. <laughs> because you see me every day with this hairstyle. Bye.